Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to install Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft. So what is the Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft? Well, it's just what it says. It's Mo Creatures. Now a lot of people confuse this Mo as Mo's Creatures, like there's somebody out there by the name of Mo. Well, it's not true. The guy's name is actually Dr. Zark, and Mo, in this case, stands for more. So it's really more creatures. And that's just what it does. It just adds a whole bunch of new creatures to Minecraft. There's sharks, dolphins, werewolves, ogres, wolves, lions, rabbits, foxes, unicorns, pegasus, and the list goes on and on. So I'm not going to rattle them all off right now. I will show you eventually. But this particular video is going to deal entirely with the installation. I'll do a second video. Part two will have the actual tour, the creature feature tour. I'll show you the creatures. We'll talk a little bit about what each one does, etc. And then in the final third part, I will do a uh, more advanced topic such as the breeding and taming because you can actually tame some of the beasts. You can make saddles. You can ride the horse in the Pegasus and uh, and do some other cool stuff like breeding. But um, again, for this inst for this um, this tutorial is going to deal solely with the installation because it's kind of a bore it uh, it's not for the faint at heart so pay attention follow along and you should have many mo creatures in your game shortly so here we go there are actually a couple of other things we need to do before we can get this thing to work if you scroll down here and in fact i am currently at the minecraft forums if you go to google and type in mo creatures you'll find this and you'll have to download this eventually um, but before we do that, let me just show you a couple of other videos that I've done that you should do. In fact, you will need to do some of these. But the first thing I always do anytime I do any modification in Minecraft is back it up. I've done a, a, a video here, um, how to back up Minecraft with FBackup. It's a free program. Go to my channel and watch that video. It's not very long. It's eight minutes. I'll show you how to back it up. Just in case something goes wrong, you will have a backup. So go watch that. Um, and then the next thing you're going to need is 7-Zip or WinRAR. I did a tutorial on this, how to get 7-Zip. It's a free program. You download it, you run it, and you'll be able to get into your Minecraft.jar file. Again, this is a, a required step to modify the jar file. So go ahead and grab the 7-Zip. I'll wait right here. And finally, you should also go and watch my other tutorial how to install mod loader, audio mod, and spawn list. You need these two for Mo Creatures to work properly. So now is the time to do that. Go get that done, install those two, and then we can follow along. All right, I'm going to close these two guys down. Actually, all three, I'm assuming you've done all that. You've backed everything up. You've got 7-Zip and you've got mod loader and audio mod installed. Let's head back to the Mo Creatures page. And let's scroll down to the installation instructions. And as you can see, how to install Mo Creatures mod. It tells you you need this uh, mod right here. It's called GUI API. GUI is graphical user interface, and it's pronounced GUI. So this is a GUI API. And, and again here, mod loader plus audio mod. You should have already done that. So now we need to grab this GUI API mod. So let's go ahead and right click on that. Open up in a new tab, and I'm using Google Chrome here on Windows 7. Your screen may look a little bit differently, but in general, the principle is the same. So now that we're here, let's scroll down a little bit, and you'll see right here, GUI API. If you click on that, it just drops you down here a little bit farther. And this is the download we're looking for. It says main download, 0.9.7. And the link goes to a Dropbox file and just go ahead and download that. Now I should say that this is all compatible right now with Minecraft version 1.301. .01. Now if 1.4 comes out after this video, things may change. Some of these mods take a little time to catch up. But for right now, this does work perfectly fine. All right, now that I've downloaded the GUI API, we can close this because the process of installing a mod into Minecraft is the same for every single mod. And again, you have to use a, a, a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to open up that jar file and copy in the actual mod files. Um, 
let's uh, let's move on here with the GUI API. So we don't need that instructions anymore. So let's go over here to our file that we've downloaded and let's go take a look. Now here it is. It's a zip file and if we right click on this and you did install 7-zip, right? Or WinRAR. Excellent. And we're going to open up that archive. And here is all the files that we need to copy into the Minecraft.jar file. Now how do we get to the Minecraft.jar? Very simple. If you're using Windows 7 or a Vista, your screen should look very similar. Come down here to the Start button, type in your search bar, percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, and then percent. And that's App Data. And that goes to your, it's a hidden folder in Windows. And as you can see up here near the top, you should see a dot .minecraft folder. Open that up. And then you should see a bin folder. Open that up. And then here you should have a, f a file called minecraft.jar. If you don't see the .jar, that's fine. There should only be one, fo one file in here called Minecraft. Right click on that. Click on se uh, point to 7 zip. And then open archive. Now these are all the files that are in that minecraft.jar. This tells what Minecraft what to do. Let's go back to 7 zip and our GUI API file. Now if you've already done the mod loader and audio mod, this should look very familiar to you. You've already done all this, but with a different mod. And essentially, the process is the same. I've got the GUI API zip here, minecraft.jar. I need to take all of these files on the right and just drag and drop them right into my minecraft.jar file. So go up here to edit, click on select all, and just drag and drop them right in. And they get copied over. You get a confirmation. Are you sure you want to do this? And I say, oh yeah. All right, so now they're all in Minecraft.jar. We can close down the GUI API.zip now. Let's go back to our web browser. And now we need to download the actual Mo Creatures mod. Now this one's going to require a little bit more thought because there are separate folders in here. And this goes to a media fire location click on download and we'll download it to the computer it's about three megabytes shouldn't take very long do 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 sorry <laughs> okay 2.8 2.9 done all right now let's head over to that folder well, we've downloaded and right click on Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures, point to 7-zip, open archive. Again, same process as before. Now let's get our jar file open here as well. This one's a little bit different. So what we need to do is copy the Minecraft. No, let's go to, re oops, I'm sorry. Go to Minecraft folder first. So open up the Minecraft folder and you'll see all these, again, all these uh, Java files. And we're going to go to Edit, Select All, and drop them right in. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go back up a level in our 7-zip file manager and now we see Resources. Resources does not go in the Minecraft.jar file. In fact, we're done with Minecraft.jar now, so we can just go ahead and close that. Okay, so now what we want to do is go back to our app data folder, to the Minecraft folder that is. So go ahead and click on your start button and let's go back to app data with the two percent symbols around. Click enter and then open up Minecraft folder. And let's bring back our 7-zip manager. As you can see here, there's a resources folder on our mine under the Minecraft folder in a resources folder in the Mo Creatures mod zip. Just go ahead and grab it, just click on it, the resources, and just drag it right over and drop it down. And then it's going to want to merge the folder and you're going to say yes. So that the contents of this resource folder in the mod.zip, which is basically just a bunch of sound files, should now be over here. In Minecraft. So go on over to sound. Uh, that was under mod, right? 
under mod, sound, there they are. Yep, perfect. All right, and now we can close down 7-Zip, and we can test the game. Okay, so that's pretty much the installation. Now we're just going to hop into the game very quickly and just see if it worked. I'll go over the actual um, settings in the game that you can modify, such as spawn rates and what can spawn and when and how, etc., which is all in here. And I will do that in the actual, uh, in the part two, when I do the tour of the actual mod. I just want to make sure that it worked. The installation worked, and whoa, precarious little walk here. And sure enough, it did. There's a lion. I don't get too close. As you can see, I didn't get too close. Okay, so there's a lion, and they go after things like pigs and you if you get too close. Lioness, same thing. Another female lion there, and I just want to get away. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can um, bring them over here and... Take their mind off me. Go ahead, eat a pig. No, no, no pig. The pig. So anyway, there you have it. That's how to install Mo Creatures mod. And uh, I didn't kill the lioness. So cute. Feels wrong. Shoot such a lovely beast. And they drop leather. Thank you. And I thought I saw a bear over here. There he is. Yep. They're not aggressive during the day to you, the player. But they will rip the guts out of anything that gets close. If it's a uh, pig or a sheep or anything else. Um, they do attack you at night. Anyway, I'm not going to do the full tour right now. I'll show you all the different in individual creatures and uh, their behaviors in part two. So for now, I'm signing off with part one. And um, go ahead and watch part two. I will link it in this video description. Easy there. Easy, Yogi. Take care. Bye-bye.